Hey guys, I'm Karan Bilani from Mobi Scrub and let's talk about a few apps that would go great with your new Galaxy S9 or the Galaxy S9 Plus. The first one is AMOLED Live Wallpaper. The S9 and the S9 Plus display are amazingly awesome and you need the right wallpaper to be really able to enjoy that to the fullest. The animation, it adds to a lot of excitement and at the same time it does not drain battery because the black portions are actually pixels that are switched off. And when you launch an app or open your app drawer, the live wallpaper reduces its battery usage. And you can unlock the Pro version for just $1, which gives you a lot more color combinations, particle type and line behaviors. So for example, you can see that I've just changed the color on the screen and again, and uh, again. So yeah, there are just so many of these possible and you can change the particle type as well as line behavior. So you know, your every live wallpaper looks different and unique and you can also randomize it uh, if you really need to. And before we move to our second app, it would be great if you guys could just hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying hard to reach 200,000 subscribers real quick, so all help appreciated. And adding to our first app, if you're looking for slightly more glazed wallpapers that still make use of that AMOLED display, then Liquify is your go-to app. The free version gives you access to 91 bright and colorful metallic liquid wallpapers that look absolutely stunning on your Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus. These are all cloud-based, so you can't download it, the wallpaper, but you can directly set the wallpaper from within the app by tapping on that paint roller icon in the bottom right corner. Now, if you want more than 220 such wallpapers with the ability to download them as well, you can head to the Play Store and pay $1.49 for the Pro version, which gives you more categories, and you get wallpapers that are specifically made for the 18.5 is to 9 display ratio of your Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Coming down to app number three. Now, I don't advise use of any smartphone while driving, but if you must, then the safest way is to use Samsung's own car mode app. It basically gives you access to the most important and critical apps and lays them out in a way that makes it super easy for you to interact with them while driving. Apps like music, the interface, it's just a lot bigger so you can identify content quickly and not distract yourself for too long. Your incoming messages would be read out to you and you can send messages or replies using just your voice leading to a completely hands-free experience. You can even make phone calls to someone you want to using your voice even accept and reject calls using voice commands. Overall, it's a great car companion app to have if you use your smartphone a lot, especially during navigation while driving. You can set your preferred music app while driving as well as the, the map service that you want to use and uh, go to my places and set your home, work and even add more places if you want to so that navigation to those, uh, navigating to those places is a lot faster and just a tap away. The fourth one is called Clippo and simply put, it gives you more control over what you do with what you copy. For example, let's say you copy a phone number. It instantly gives you contextual actions you can do right after you copy it in your notification panel. So, you know, you could just expand that and you have options to, you know, call that number directly, add them or save them as a contact. And of course, you still have options to look it up or share it with someone through other app. The same applies to email IDs as well. Let's say you copied an email address and you expanded your notification panel. You've got your email ID right there. Expand it further. You can email directly. You can again, you know, uh, try this on a single word, which automatically opens the dictionary and gives you its definition. And more than that, I mean, if it's a word that you really uh, have never heard of before, you could look it up online. You could look it up in a dictionary, you can translate it to some other language and you can also hear the pronunciation of that word. So all in all, I think it's a great tool to have on your Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus. The next one is called Navbar Animations. This app is basically going to add a layer of coolness to your S9 or the S9 Plus. Every time you tap the home button, you're going to get a fancy animation in the navbar background. You can set what kind of animation you want and also set the color of that animation depending on what goes well with your background. So there are this plethora of background animations that are available and some of them are for free while some of them are paid for. But you can go through the entire library and see what you like and just hope that it's for free. Uh, you know, and even for the paid ones, when you tap on them, you can see what happens at the bottom. So just tap on it, you will see the animation at the bottom to let you know how it looks. But if it's a pro animation, you've got to buy it. 
and the full version is for a dollar 49 cents uh so you know if, if it's something that you really enjoy and you really want and you want all the animations go for it and as i said you do get customization options so you can set a color that you think looks better with you know your uh uh home home screen wallpaper so you could go ahead and set it to that next is cake browser and it's truly how a browser should have been in the first place when you open a browser, 95% of the times you're either coming to Google to search something or buy something or, you know, do an image search or a video or even a news item. That's all that this app takes care of. So, for example, uh, you were looking to search for Galaxy S9. You type that out and tap on search. Now, when you search, you have all the results from Google, obviously, but you also get a tabbed view of all top re top results opened automatically for you. So you could just flip through them without really going back and forth between search results. Now, let's say that you were to buy the Galaxy S9. Then you, you have that in your text and then you tap on the ca cart icon. It immediately pulls a list of, you know, uh, the top e-commerce websites and it displays the listing for that item that you searched for on those websites. You can customize those, so you could go into settings and you can ensure that only, you know, the ones that you prefer are searched and the other ones are just off. So if you don't want one Walmart, you could just switch it off and leave it at that. You can also do image searches. So for example, you know, I search for Grand Canyon and it's going to give you uh, image, image results from a lot of sources, top uh, image websites. So all in all, I think you know, Cake Browser is definitely a browser I was looking for. And on top of that, it's pretty good looking. It's fast and it's a very fresh take on how browsers can act and function. So I suggest you go ahead and try it out. Lastly is an app that keeps you updated with everything there is to know about your Galaxy S9, the S9 Plus. Be it the best apps and games for your smartphone, latest news regarding updates for the Galaxy S9 from around the world, and even tips and tricks all of that in just one app. All content is curated especially for that device that you're, you know, holding in your hand and you're on top of everything there is to know about your smartphone. You can also bookmark stories or feed by just, you know, long tapping on them. So you long tap and there's a ribbon that comes on top right corner and you can always refer back to your bookmarks by going into menu and then tapping into bookmarks. So it'll have all your stories right out over there. So thanks a lot for watching guys, those were the top 7 apps for the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. If you have any comments, obviously leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.